What's good YouTube? In this video we have how to honestly rank up to masters or pred. Now this video is specifically for solo queuing, but of course you can take these tips and advice and take it over if you are three second or duo queuing. But majority of this video I wanted to focus on solo queue. Now the first thing I want to say is that if you solo queue, you know that solo queuing is stressful and is it is for sure a challenge. And the reason for that is because of random teammates. Random teammates can for sure make you stressed out. They can be a pain. They die easily. They go off on their own to different ways that maybe you don't want to go a certain way um, there's so many reasons for why solo queue can be so stressful and there's two reasons for it so the two things that in this video that we want to fix when it comes to solo queuing we want to make solo queuing less stressful and also another thing that we want to do is make teammates better right so you want to make your randoms better and you also want to be less stressed when it comes to solo queuing those are the two things that we're going to mainly going to be talking about in this video and within those two things we're going to be talking about a lot of tips and advice within them now the first thing we're going to talk about is making solo queuing in ranked arenas less stressful the first thing i have to say when it comes to this is you need to understand that you're going to win some games and you're going to lose some games now if you're someone who's three second yes you probably have a higher chance to go on winning streaks because what you do when you're three sec is that you are teamed up you're communicating you guys are just you could trust each other right when you solo queue you can't not every game can you trust your your random teammates and the reason for that is for multiple reasons right one they may not not care two they may be new to the game three they, they just don't care right they're just playing just to play so to them solo queue ranked arenas don't really mean much so just understand when you solo queue you are gonna win some you are gonna lose some so don't stress off the games that you lose just do your best to learn from it now the second thing that i wanted to mention is playing on your best map now this is especially when you're coming towards your rank goal and you're only receiving low points like plus 12 to 13 to 14 right you're only receiving those low points and if you're solo queuing you want to play on your best maps right these are the maps that you know you have a legend you have a certain strategy that you like to use majority of the time when you use that legend and strategy on that map do good where you guys win the game or at least individually you do good yourself so it gives you guys a better chance of winning so that's key you always want to play on your best maps if you don't like a map on the map rotation then don't play that map another thing that we want to talk about is we want to use guns that we are most comfortable with now before i would always say you know use the best guns but i realized some of us aren't good with the best guns for instance my myself i know that the mozambique is one of the top three best guns in the game right some will argue that it's the best gun in the game, but I'm not someone who's good with the Mozambique, so I don't use that gun. The reason why I don't use that gun is because I'm not good with it. If I was using the best gun, like the Mozam, I'd just be missing my shots and it'd make me worse. So for that reason, this is why I say to use the guns that you're most comfortable with, but are still strong. Another way to make solo queue less stressful is using legends that you feel like is going to help so we said this earlier when it comes to the map and playing on the best maps that you play on best but this is the same thing right when you want to choose a legend that you feel like helps the team out this is going to help and make it less stressful so another thing that's going to make arenas less stressful is warming up warming up in like the firing range or regular arenas is going to help you out a lot um one is going to help you with your aim so when you shoot uh you won't be cold um when you're playing the regular rank or when you're playing ranked arenas so warm up as much as possible for me i'm someone who warms up as at least 15 to 30 minutes in the firing range and then i'll go play arenas and then the last two things i want to talk about to make ranked ranked arenas less stressful are switching servers right if you switch servers this is the reason why you want to switch servers is because one if you find yourself playing against the same team and let's say you guys lose to them twice and you just know you can't beat them right look they maybe caught you on an off day or whatever but just switch the servers especially if you're someone who's solo queuing if you're solo queuing and you're playing against teams that are three stack uh masters or three stack preds and you f find yourself getting teammates that you know you just don't do good with as randoms and don't then don't don't play on those servers switch the servers and it'll make it a lot easier and then the last thing i want to talk about to make ranked arena is less stressful is hiding your badges and your stats now the reason why you want to hide your badges and your stats are because we all know when we play ranked arenas as solo usually we get teammates that aren't as good as us so when we have our badges and stats that have our highest rank our highest kills or whatever what it's going to do is it's going to make the enemy team focus in on you because majority of the time you're not going to have those teammates that are as good so because of that the enemies are just going to know that if they take you down 
then they win the game so don't let the enemies know that you're one of those top guys on the team so yeah that's how you can make arenas less stressful all those tips are something that i do when i'm playing arenas and now we're going to talk about how to find ways to make your random teammates better because that is a problem that we all have in arenas you know we do double triple damage compared to our random teammates and it frustrates us because we're carrying our random teammates and these guys aren't putting up putting up much effort so that's the biggest problem in solo queuing for a ranked arena. And the first thing that I can say when it comes to this is you want to play around your random teammate, right? Always have an eye on them. Sometimes, you know, I like to play legends like Pathfinder, Octane, and I notice that if we lose the game, it's because I'm nowhere near my random teammate, right? You can't go too far to get a flank or get angles when you're playing as a solo queue because if your randoms are having problems or struggling, uh, you need to be there to go and try and help. Or at least you need to be in distance where you could... You know shoot the enemies while they are trying to go after your random so make sure you're in distance within your random teammates play around them make sure you check your map uh, to see what's going on if make sure to check on the bottom of the where you know you can see the health of your teammates and yourself uh, if they're you know losing health they're struggling make sure you watch over them now the second thing is make sure you grab heals right no matter what legend you are right you could grab heals with the legend like pathfinder octane because of the mobility they could get there first you could grab heals with the legend like loba and her ultimate you could grab heals like gibraltar with his bubble bangalore with her smoke wraith with her phase and portal lifeline will grab you extra heals in the blue supply bins so there's so many ways to get heals Heals, make sure you utilize that and grab heals for yourself and most importantly you want to share it with your teammate right let your random teammates know that you're a good teammate and you're there to help them so that it can help you guys win the game just like it is for heals you want to do the same for matt uh, grab all the materials that you can uh, the more materials you get the more stuff you can buy and the stronger things that you could get when you're buying so for instance stuff like a gun you can write you could get a a mozambique hammers uh, a lot better or quicker than the enemies you could get the purple devo compared to the enemies you could even get a purple r301 i know that's very popular as well now you so grab the materials it helps you and your teammates with you know being able to buy things and it also stops the enemies from being able to buy things because you grab the materials and also another thing when it comes to helping your random teammates get better are if it's early in the round or if it's early in the game like it's round one or two and you guys are about to win that round and you know it, your teammate or you guys are about to win that round let your let your random teammates get the free kill right that easy free kill maybe the enemies are in the spawn afk you guys already killed the other two let your randoms go in there and you know get that free kill it's gonna boost your confidence up you know and like i said you're here to be a good teammate um you're gonna help them out a lot and they're probably gonna trust you when it comes to later in the game when it comes to communicating and pinging stuff right because if you let them get those free kills or easy kills or whatever they're gonna feel good about themselves if they see that they're letting you get the free kills they'll respect you more that's another way another way for them to respect you is honestly just doing damage right if you're someone who's doing damage carrying the team they'll definitely see that and they will follow you a lot more i mean usually people who don't follow will be in like rounds one uh one and two but rounds three four five and higher when they see that the damage is significantly different that's when they'll know and and say to themselves this guy knows what he's doing so they'll start following you you want to still help your teammates as much as possible um just grabbing heals materials letting them get the free kills those are easy things that you guys could do playing around the randoms and you know watching over them angles I understand those things may be a little bit more difficult especially if you have a certain plan that you want to do but at the end of the day you just want to play as a team just remember in ranked arenas you no know, it's a 3v3 you know it's, it's very difficult to 1v3 an enemy team so just know that you need your teammates just just as much as they need you no matter how good you are and just always have that mindset you know just it's a team game and once you have that mindset you know you and your teammates you guys are gonna be easy you guys are gonna be you guys are gonna be you know flying through the games flying through the ranks it's just gonna be easy and you'll look at solo queue a lot different solo queue become a lot easier and a lot and less stressful this is my video when it comes to solo queue and you know how to honestly rank up to masters pred this is honestly just how to honestly rank up to your rank goal, right? It can be Masters, Pred, Diamond, Plat, whatever it is. Whatever your rank goal is, 
that's what this video is for there will be videos where i do strategies uh, with legend and map strategies you know that will be coming out on monday um so look out for that one with those videos i'm gonna be talking over it you know it's gonna be like coaching and the main purpose of those videos are to let you guys know like strategies that i do that are that win me games the most so they're gonna be honestly those are probably gonna be the best videos to watch when it comes to learning how to rank up but these are like tips and advice right here that we have for this video if you guys like this video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys on the next one